Hi everyone, today we're going to be doing Love and Hip Hop New York Season 4 Episode 2 Review. The show starts off where it left up left off last time where Amina told Rich, well, look at here, I am Mrs. Panky or whatever his name is. And Rich is looking like, I oh, know. I know foolhardily that she's playing with me. She just got this tattoo. I know Peter didn't marry her, but Peter's like, hey, let me come on over here. Let me talk to you right quick. Okay, what's going on? No, I told you I loved her. Told you I'm managing her. She's like, what about us being married? He's looking like, now, you know, getting down on what we had a agreement between the two of us that we wasn't going to tell nobody. But she's under this whole, you my husband. I love you. You love me. Why can't we tell everybody? He's like, well, because I got my girlfriend at home. She said, you know, she's higher on the totem pole. Me. I know you my, my wife and all, but, you know, Tara... Tara, whatever her name is, at home, you know, she's higher up than you. You know, wife, you know, I love you. She's a pretty, she can't know. I can't have people knowing my business like that. And she's like, see, now I know why she was acting like that. That is her husband. I get it now. I thought she was a little crazy last episode, but now that I see that, hey, that's her husband. That's why she wants to spend time with him. And he's been telling her that whole song and dance tomorrow, baby. I promise I will tell Tara. And it still hasn't happened. We got your new girl, Tara. She lets you rich have it. She's like, um, what you doing here? You want to work with some business? Because this ain't it. I know I used to be a stripper, but you're not going to make me money. I don't see it happening. All the other people you didn't you was managing, they wouldn't make the kind of money that I want to make. So you go on somewhere rich. Plus, I don't want people to think the only reason, you know, I'm in the business now is because I'm sleeping with you because that's what you're known for doing. You're known for sleeping with your clients and then not giving them a good deal of, um, in the music industry. And I will not. I want people to come and see me for my rapping talents and not my talents from being on a pole. Her and Rich going back and forth and I kind of I kind of agree with her because when he was with Olivia, a little bit cheating over this season for whatever reason, but that's what neither here nor there. But she's been there since season one to season three, and had she put anything out that really hit big, then he got with Erica and screwed her over, gave her a song away, and just sleep with her and just messed her over. So yeah, Rich don't really have a good track record when it comes to you know who manager client dealings. We're gonna move over here to your boy Saigon. He's a newer member of the cast, and he was seeing him and his friend, I think her name is Erica J. Be best good friends. Go back like Forrest and Bubba. Anyways, they was together one night, like, hey, I want kids, you want kids, let's make a baby. We're gonna forget the fact that I have a girlfriend at home that's pregnant. Now, I'm not sure if he knew she was pregnant at the time because, like, the kids are like a month apart. So I want to say he didn't know yet, but if you wanted a baby, why don't you go home to your girlfriend and get her pregnant? But you already did that, but I don't know if you did. But anyways, yes, yeah, so we're out there impregnating people, you know, because you want a kid, but you're not getting, getting your girlfriend at home pregnant. I'm not understanding that situation. Yeah, I guess he was all madly in love with the second mother of his child and he went on a road she went to live with her daddy came back seven months later like hey here's your son he feels some type of about that if it went the way he said it went now if you was on a road boo boo ain't no way you could have seen your son unless she dropped what she was doing and flew or drove or whatever to come see you yeah <sighs> peter guns he feels that Amina snitched on him. And where he come from, snitching ain't cool. Snitches get stitches. No, I not heard that for some. But anyways, is that really snitching? It ain't like you was out there committing some kind of crime and she went and told the police. She told Rich, your friend, that y'all was married. That has something to do with her too. Yeah, she wouldn't commit no crime. What you talking about? Rich, I don't know, something about you you just make my head hurt. And this whole little movement you be doing in your confession was just awkward and weird and creeps me out a little bit. 
If that didn't make matters worse, Rich out here giving Neil advice to your boy Saigon. Him and Saigon have been knowing each other for years. They go way back to apparently. Because everybody on this show didn't know somebody for years, but you never talked or seen it. But anyways, we're going to step past that moment, Scott Young. Anyways, they all playing basketball. Side guys like, hey, Peter, you know, me and my girl are trying to get back together. Not that one girl. Yeah, that hair, man. I don't know. I think you should get a paternity test. Okay, that wasn't your position at all. To tell him to do that. So now he's in the set, man. I was kind of thinking that my family, like, he don't look like me. And when I be helping my daughter, be like, dang, y'all twins. But then when I'm my son, it's like, man, is that your nephew? Really? So people just jump to nephew. Just with it, like, my brother, his son looks nothing like him. He looks like my um, sister in law. Just like him, but he acts just like my brother. He may not look like him, but he show sure acted just like him. So you can't go by those, all those, oh my goodness, he got that whole Maury shenanigans that they be going through. They got the same eyes, they got the same nose, got the same mouth, none of that. You can't go by looks. How you know he don't look like somebody three, four generations back? So I don't know if he knows something that I don't know, but now he won't get a return to the on the baby. Because he don't think the baby looks like Andy meets up with Kay Michelle. They're talking. Apparently, they've been friends for a long time. Like I was saying. But anyway, it's just like, Kay Michelle, she's ready to meet her real connect dude. That's what she wants. She's here from New York, and that's what she wants. So, Yandy's going to throw her a party. In the meantime, after she and Yandy didn't got this party together, she didn't invite just about every girl that's on the cast. You know, kind of obligatory for her to do that. Anyways, so Rich tells her, I got something to tell you. I didn't want to keep this hushes, and you come looking at me side eye in a few months about what I'm about to tell you. Your boy Peter, he can doggone bury the Mina. Now, Yanny's like, okay, Tara, or Tara, whatever that girl's name is, she's my friend. Now, I invited her and Amina to this party that I'm doing for Kay and Michelle. I don't want to be put in this situation. One, why did you tell me? Rich, he told her, was like, I don't want this to blow up in a few months. And you looking at me like, why didn't I tell you? But one hand, she's like, I wish you hadn't told me. But then she's like, I'm glad you did because I would be ready to go off when I found out that you already knew and put me in this situation. She's friends with Tara. She has a bitch of a relationship with Amina. Peter's in a relationship with both of them. So it's bound to blow up at any time. Or any place. We shall see. Your boy Peter finds himself in a how to be a player situation. He finds out by Richard Allis why he's off visiting her, his son who's you know, got gun charges on him. And might I add, he says, you know, having a last name guns, you know, kind of puts a target on your back. And he didn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing. Like, really? we going to go there. How about the fact that your son had a gun on him? Maybe that could be it too. But anyway, he's talking to his son. And Rich calls him like, hey, Yandy's throwing a party. And both Tara and Amina's invited to it. So he hops in the first thing that he can find to jump in, which is the town car. And trying to make it there. And he's hoping and praying and everything that Amina does not get there before he does. Because he wants to stop her from going in. And he sees her about to walk in. It's like, hey, you can't come in love you but yeah Tara's in there she's like oh you drove all this way to stop me from going in because your ex-girlfriend is in there I'm assuming that's what he's telling her she is and he's like yeah so she comes to realization you haven't told her yet he does that whole I'm gonna tell her tomorrow I promise and apparently tomorrow is repeated several times Apparently he's in Groundhog's Day where it keeps on happening tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. She attempts to go in there. He's like, man, don't do this. And I thought she was just going to go in and have a good time. But no, she let that, I'll tell her tomorrow, be it, go again. So yeah, she walks off of him and she's like, I don't want to see you until you get this thing straight. So now he got to go tell his girlfriend that he can walk out in public freely, that he has a wife. 
that he don't nobody know about and he can't show his love for her. Yeah, that's it. So that was the gist of the episode. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment or a video response. And like always, I want to thank my subscribers and the people who watch my videos. I want you to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And share this video with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and here on YouTube. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.